Hi guys and welcome to officially our first video on YouTube on Smart Photo Reviews channel. Today we will be reviewing one little interesting backpack for you, so stay tuned. Since Manfrotto took over Kata company a few years ago, they maintained the same high quality as it was before, with some little adjustments, but the same concepts and the same high quality bags and camera backpacks for everyday use. Here is the little star of our review, Manfrotto 3-in-1. 26 Pro Light camera backpack. This backpack is from Manfrotto Pro Light series of 3 in 1 camera backpacks that come in four different shapes. First one is Pro Light uh, 3 in 1 25, the second one is 26, then there is 35 and 36. I would like to explain first why this series is called 3-in-1. Because uh, there are three options of arranging this back harness and straps. You can arrange it like this, like classic backpack, to wear it on both of your shoulders. You can arrange it across in X shape and you can arrange it like a sling bag diagonally from one side to the other, or from this side to this. So you can wear it either way and turn it around your shoulders when you want to access your equipment. This camera backpack is also called 3-in-1 because you can access your equipment from three different sides. From left side, from right side and from top side. Let's talk a little bit about quality of materials. As expected, we have high quality materials, water repellent material that can withstand uh, very harsh weather conditions, which is expected for Manfrotto bags. From front side of the bag, we have a tripod attachment for little sized tripods or for middle sized tripods. From one side we have little compartment for filters or something like that, which is not too big. This is one access for your equipment. equipment. On the other side we have another small compartment for little stuff. And we have another access point to your camera equipment. On the back side of this camera backpack, we have high quality harness with very thick straps that should uh, allow you to carry this camera backpack pretty comfortably on your back. Also, we have a system which allows breathing of air, so you sweat a, a little bit less than <laughs> you would. Then we come to the interior of the camera backpack. Here we have a top compartment, top pocket, which looks like this. You can put here some kind of smaller DSLR camera with smaller or medium sized lens attached to it. Then we have the main compartment which is here. Here you can put another DSLR camera with lens attached, even the biggest 70 to 20 mm lens attached, which is most common uh, with pro photographers. Two or three more lenses, maybe a flash or two or something else that you might carry with you. Here we have a weather cover if the weather goes extreme while you're working. A few words about zippers and how they operate. On this top compartment of the backpack we have double zippers. 
that go around this upper part. On this main compartment we also have two zippers that go all the way around, but there is a possibility to unzip the whole backpack by releasing this velcro and these buckles and then going all the way around with the zippers like this opening the whole backpack and then possibly after removing these dividers you can use it as a regular backpack what interests most of the people is uh, the weight of the bag or the camera backpack and how much equipment can it take regarding the weight it's pretty much a light bag that's part of its name pro light 3 in 126 let's see how much equipment we can put inside this bag first of all here we have a pro level dslr camera Canon 5DS with grip attached and 70 to 200 millimeters f 2.8 lens. We have zoom lenses, also pro zoom lenses, 24 to 72.8 and 16 to 35 2.8. Let's try and put this stuff inside this bag. Here we have first little problem. It's with zippers, because sometimes you can't decide which zippers opens what on this camera backpack. So after you get used to it, I think it's all right. First we will remove this rain cover. We will arrange these velcro dividers and then try and put this big camera with 70 to 200 lens attached to it. It's a bit crampy here. Then you put this lens to the side and this one here. As you can see, we managed to fit most of them, but it's not exactly comfortable as it should be. Maybe it's because uh, grip, the, it will lose a lot of space because of it. But frankly, I think it's just the length of the lens that is too much for this backpack. But to prove that it's possible, here you are, we can close the bag. Of course, not with divider seam and not with this rain cover outside. So we put everything in and buckle the back. That's it. And in the end, let's talk a bit about uh, pros and cons of this bag. This camera backpack has several good things about it. First of all, that 3-in-1 system, which is dedicated to these straps, as I said before, putting it, them in three different ways. So you have three different options of carrying this backpack. Then you can access your uh, equipment from three different sides, here, here, and here. Also, you have these small compartments for bottles of water or some other refreshments you are carrying with you. And it's uh, very interesting that they are on both sides of the, this camera backpack. On front, you have a tripod attachment, which is also a very handy thing. Also, this upper part of the bag, this top compartment, it's very handy because you can put an extra smaller DSLR with the lens attached and easily take it when you need it. And if uh, the weather conditions aren't as good and it's dirty on the ground, you can put 
this side of the bag on the ground so to avoid getting yourself dirty when you pick the bag up. A few words about cons or not so good stuff about this camera backpack. First of all, it's this thing with these zippers. It's meant to be very handy and very practical, but in fact it isn't that much because they are not moving that good. They seem to stop a bit when you move them because maybe the camera backpack is still quite new. Maybe after some period of usage they will move slightly better. Also, sometimes you miss which one of them to start opening to open some compartments. Also some stuff that are not so good as you saw when we put our pro equip equipment in this backpack. You can hardly fit pro DSLR camera with grip attached and 70 to 200 lens which is something of a standard when you use camera backpacks. Another little possible con of this backpack is that in this top compartment it has uh, opening that can accommodate only 10 inch tablets or iPads or some other notepads. Uh, so it's a bit crampy here, but if you own something that has 10 inches, then this bag might be just perfect for you. And at the end, thank you for being with us. We hope that uh, you got some useful information about this camera backpack, which will help you in deciding whether it's for you or not. If you like what we're doing, Please consider subscribing to our channel, commenting below or hitting the like button. That way you can show us your support and we can continue with these videos. Thank you very much for your time and until next time, bye.